Hi guys, Ben here, back again, just a few days on from Tottenham 4, Liverpool 1, back now with a preview for the Huddersfield game at Anfield on Saturday. Uh, the Spurs post-match video was probably the most angry I've ever been after uh, after a game, certainly since I started YouTube, um, and um, a lot of my mates that watched my videos sort of came out to me and said, wow, that, that was very different, you know, I don't know what happened, I mean, I guess I was... I wasn't at the game, so I was kind of watching it with my mates, and I didn't want to show my emotion at the time, and I was holding in all that frustration the whole game, and I just got in front of the camera, and I just started effing and blinding, and I, just, I was livid. And do you know what? I still am I still am upset. I still am really disappointed with where we are as a, as a team, as a squad right now. Um, a minority of people disagreed with me and, and sort of said, look, get a grip, like we're fine, this is just a bad result. Some people were calling me an embarrassment and just said I didn't know what I was talking about. That's fine. We're always going to get that on here. But lots of you, and I appreciate lots of you, um, were, were in agreement and, and liked the video and liked how honest and you know passionate I was, I suppose. And I hate to use the word passion, but uh, that, you know, I, I, I felt down. I, I, felt, I felt awful. And, um, no one wants to see their team get beaten 4-1. No one wants to see their team get battered for the second time in the space of a few weeks. No one wants to see their side go... Especially Liverpool fans don't want to see their side go uh, only two wins in ten games. That is the reality of the situation. Uh, we're not any better than we were this time last year. In fact, we've probably regressed since then. We're not any better than we were two years ago, three years ago. So it's just a frustrating time. It's just, it's just when, when you've still got the same issues as, as you had in sort of 2013, it, it, it starts to piss you off. Um, so you know that that's. That, that's just situation. I mean, we we got Huddersfield now. I mean, you, you might say it's a nice game to have, but then again, is it? I mean, they're going to be bang up for it. They just beat Manchester United last week, which I would never have expected. They're going to be bang up for this. What have they got to lose? They've had a great start to the season. They're only one point worse off than us. Um, they, they, they wouldn't have dreamed of such a good start. Um, David Wagner obviously doing well, impressing their club's mate. Uh, and fair play. I mean, I've, I've not seen much of them this season. I, the, the, whenever they're on, I always seem to be at, at a Liverpool game or something. I've, I've just not been able to catch them on TV much, apart from the Spurs game. We, we, we were doing soccer Saturday that day, so I didn't really see much of it. Um, but I've seen a bit. I mean, Aaron Moy seems like he's impressing, so, you know, fair play. Departress obviously scored last week. Uh, I was, I've always quite liked Tom Ince. He's obviously doing well defensively, not too bad too. So, look, fair play to Huddersfield. They've come up from the Championship. Um, and they were, they were one of the teams I predicted to finish in a bomb three. They, they, they still might, but... They've acquitted themselves well, not disgracing themselves at all. Same as Brighton, really. I mean, fair play to all the promoted sides. They're all doing pretty well. And Huddersfield will come to Anfield full of confidence. And why shouldn't they? You, you can get out this Liverpool side. Yes, we haven't conceded many at home. Uh, but when you look at our defence and, the, and the, the complete lack of confidence that we're suffering from, why wouldn't you fancy it? Why wouldn't you? Um, I mean, anyone can play for us on Saturday. I mean, I think... I mean, I've not got any insight as to what's been happening in training, um, but I think that is pretty much going to determine who plays. I mean, I don't know who's going to play in goal, I don't know who's going to play at the back, uh, even the midfield is, is... Who knows? I mean, Firmino's not scored in about six league games. Yes, he got the two against Maribor and played well there, but you know he's not exactly firing in, in, in domestic competition. So, God knows. I mean, the, the only guarantees are probably Salah, probably Henderson, the captain, Coutinho. Other than that, it's up for grabs. It really is up for grabs. I mean, I'm going to go through now the team that I would pick. Uh, I would pick. Uh, let's just talk through A, what I'd pick, and I'll kind of touch on what I think Klopp would do as well. I mean, as far as the goalkeeper is concerned, look, Mignolet is not perfect. I've just, I've just got no interest in Karras whatsoever. I don't want to see him given another chance. I'm sorry. I know some of you do. I know he's young. I know he's a great keeper in the Bundesliga. I've just got no interest in seeing him in a Liverpool shirt. I don't think he's got the, got the head for it. I don't think he's, he's ever going to get there. Unfortunately, I'd rather see Danny Ward. Uh, but I think Mignolet might keep his place. You know, he's, he's had that bad game against Spurs. But other than that, I don't think he's been dreadful this season necessarily. A couple of head. You know, his head went at Leicester with the when he brought down Vardy, but he saved the penalty. Other than that, you know, there's not an awful lot he's done wrong. Uh, we do need to drop Lovren. Lovren has got no business being near that pitch on Saturday, so we need, we need to go Trent. Um, we need to go Matip. Just by process of elimination, I don't like. I don't particularly rate Matip either, but you know, he's he's, he's the lesser of many evils as far as centre backs concerned. He's better than Clavin. He's better than Lovren. Um, so I think he should partner Joe Gomez, who. Look, he's not played centre back hardly at all this season, but is it going to be any worse than Lovren if he makes a mistake? 
uh, probably no less, no more a mistake than what Lovren would make. So look, why not give him a go? I'm, I'm at the point now. A, I think I said this a few weeks ago, but let, why not? Let's just see what happens. Let's let's give him a go there. Keep Moreno at left back because he seems to be doing okay. Do we need the the the, 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 the midfield of Henderson, Milner, Chan, the lethargic? Even if you put Van Alden in there, I, I'm. A, I've just, I've just got no real interest in that midfield. I'd rather see one of them drop out. Maybe Emery Chan, who was pretty shocking against Spurs, I thought. Um, so, you know, I'd, I'd probably look at Henderson, Milner, Coutinho midfield. Um, that's got enough steel, but enough creativity in there. Milner kind of covers both roles. Uh, and then I'll go with Salah uh, on the right. Oxley chamberlain on the left. Let's just start the guy, for Christ's sake. Why not? Let's just fucking start the guy for once. And then Firmino up top. Um, uh, you know, as much as I uh, understand he's not in good form, I don't think Sturridge is quite, quite, quite there either at the moment. So, and Solanke's miles off. So that's my front three. That's my, that's the team. But it could be anything. It, 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 ben, if Ben Woodburn started, I wouldn't be shocked. You know, if Grudge started, if, uh, if Clavin started, I wouldn't. If Robertson started. It, the, these are all possibilities. Danny Ward might start. Some of you would, would probably like that. Um, we've just got to win this game. I mean, I'll probably say that in every video, but this is as must-win as must-win can be. Um, the league season is falling apart in front of us. 13 points in nine games is a really poor return. 13 from eight was bad enough, but after going to Spurs and getting spanked, being on minus two goal difference, it's a really poor start to the season. Needs to be turned around. And uh, look, it is a good opportunity. As much as Huddersfield are going to be carefree and they're in good form, this is a good chance to get three points. Get Firmino back and win the goals. Get some confidence back. Uh, we've got Maribor coming up after that as well. So, I mean, we'll probably win that one. Uh, but we want this win. But then we go to West Ham after that. That's never going to be easy. The manager fighting for his life. So, And then we go to another international break. So this is just a, a, it's a must win. And look, I'm going to predict us two win. Um, Despite my negativity, I think we, we, we should just have too much. We should have too much. We should be looking to bounce back. We should have enough about us to see these off. They're, they're a well-organised good side, but come on. The talent in this team should be, should be more than enough to overawe them. So I, I'm going to pick us to win. I don't think it's going to be easy. I mean, I'm, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't backed Huddersfield or draw with the bookies just to sort of, you know, just out of fear. But look, I think we're going to edge it. I think we're going to edge it 2-1. Can't say keep it a clean sheet because you know I, I just think the, mid, the defense is going to be pretty makeshift and not one that's necessarily played together. Certainly not one that's put a run of games together. So with Lovren probably missing out, and Gomez alongside Matip and Trent coming back in, you know it's not it's not ideal, but it is what it is. And I, you know I just I just think we'll have enough in attack to, to see them off just about. Um, so I'm going for a two-one win, and then we'll be ready to go again and, and you know we can look at the run we've got we've got a decent run I know we've got Chelsea at home at the end of November but we've got a decent little run of fixtures between now and sort of Christmas where um, there's a lot of winnable games in there so we've got to start picking up points we've got, the title's gone forget the title City are too good United are, are, are better than us Spurs are better than us Chelsea are going to be probably just a, a, bit, a, a, bit, a bit above us um, but top four's not going to be dead top four's not going to be dead for a while so let's you know, only three points off Chelsea and Arsenal, so let's keep going. And let's try and be positive. And hopefully I sit here on Saturday afternoon with a win under our belts. Um, the bookies have got us at two to nine, so you know, we're huge favourites. Let's try and be positive. Uh, and uh, let's see what happens, shall we? Come on, the Reds. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you're going to enjoy the game on Saturday, whether you're going or not. Uh, please do subscribe to this channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and of course, Follow my other socials too, it's been my say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. Up the Reds. See you next time.